Hey, what's going on everybody? It's so good to see your faces again. Today I wanted to talk about the three most common mistakes I see baristas make when preparing espresso. Now, whether you are brand new to coffee or you've been in the game for a little while, these mistakes can have a pretty big impact on your shot quality. Now I can assure you that many, including myself, have made these mistakes in the past before. The first one being not wiping out the porter filter either enough or sometimes not at all. So if you do even like a half swipe in there and not get every little bit of moisture and coffee grounds out, then espresso is not gonna adhere very well to the sides of the basket, causing water to channel down the sides, producing an espresso that is watery and unsatisfying. Now the next mistake I see people make is honestly an umbrella of many different mistakes, and that has to do with tamping. So either you're holding it in a way that's not ergonomic, it's gonna hurt your wrist over time, it's going in there crooked, it's gonna be kind of off to the side and get stuck in the basket. There's lots of different things that can go wrong, including knocking the side of the basket with your tamper. All of these things are gonna disrupt the coffee bed, making an even extraction impossible. Now the last big mistake I see people make, oh, hold on a second. The last thing that I see happen can happen both at home and in a cafe. And that is essentially leaving the coffee sitting out for way too long, whether you get distracted or you just prep it and you're off doing something else for a second and it takes you a second to pull the shot. This not only of course loses temperature, but the espresso will begin to oxidize, meaning that the flavor is gonna be a little bit on the stale side. Not to mention that CO2 is escaping from coffee as soon as you start grinding it, which is really important for crema in espresso. So leaving the coffee out on the counter for even a minute will result in a really stale taste and a really pale looking flat crema on your espresso. So now let's go ahead and address all of these issues one by one. So first off, I like to grab the towel and have my fingers towards the corner. That way I can go ahead and get right into the corners, making sure that the portafilter is nice and dry all the way through. Now I took care to make sure that I dosed the coffee into the basket nice and evenly. And you can go ahead and do a north-south, east-west if you want. If you have WDT and you're at home, then I really like to do that. WDT will help with distribution and get rid of any clumps if your grinder is super clumpy. Now, if you want to use a tamper, I would hold it like this, like a doorknob with your thumb and your finger right here so that your wrist is nice and straight and everything is relaxed and neutral when you go in and tamp nice and level. However, what I really prefer is to use a wedge distribution device or some kind of palm tamper like this that's just gonna sit right on top and I give it a little spin and everything's gonna be nice and even. And I don't have to think about it. It takes all the guesswork out of it and it takes all of the strain and pain out of your wrist. All right, and now let's go straight in. All right, so you can see that that espresso came out a lot more even and a lot more vibrant color and stronger crema. So was it worth it? It's a lot more balanced. There's still acidity there, but it's not overwhelming. So thank you all so much for watching. I can't stress enough that I have seen these mistakes made on bar many times, both from new baristas and from baristas who have been in the industry for a while. And I, of course, have made these mistakes sometimes myself. But if you take care to avoid them, then your espresso will be so, so much better. If you wanna check out more about espresso basics, I have a video on that, as well as the tools that I ran through in this video. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you next time.